Hello, hello, Ederson Oliver here. This is the DNN tip of the week. And today I'll be bringing Google Analytics back to DNN 9. Because here's what happened. Once DNN 9 came about, the feature called Google Analytics, which used to be placed under admin, it's no longer there. It's no longer available. The feature behind the scenes is still available, but not the interface. The admin interface is no longer on DNN 9. And we're going to be getting that back. Not only that, but we'll also find out how we can change and update the Google Analytics code, the JavaScript code that goes on to be able to track viewership on your website. Before I tell you about the DNN tip of the week, I want to bring to your attention our sponsor, Manage.com. Why do I have them as a sponsor? Because I use them, because I trust them, because I have been running my business on their hosting environment for over seven years now. I trust them. I have used other providers, but at the end of the day, I go back to them because of their support level and their technical abilities as well. Let me tell you, no other support, no other hosting provider out there will call you on the phone to give you the status update of your ticket. Nobody will do that. And I get that from Manage.com. That's what differentiates them. It's not only the technical side, which they are very good as well, the best one in the DNA space and beyond that, but they are also very good when it comes to support, when it comes to the personal touch. So my, my recommendation to you is host with them. You will not get disappointed. They have good rates and great, great, awesome support. That's it. Let's go back to our tip of the week. So this is a brand new DNA 91 website and you can log in as super user. You can try to look around. You will not be able to find the Google Analytics feature that used to be there on DNN 8 and DNN 7 and even prior to that as well. I have to say that it may come back. DNN Corp may decide to get that module back built into the personal bar at some point in time. Right now, as we speak, DNN 9.1 it does not have that feature there. Now, if you are upgrading your site from a previous version of DNN, DNN8, DNN7 to DNN9, your Google Analytics code will still be there because all the required configuration are already in place. You are just upgrading your site. But in case you are start from scratch with a brand new DNN9 website, it's not there. And here's how we can put it back. I'm going to show up quickly here on a DNN 8 website where you can go to find the Google Analytics. So you can go here to advanced settings, Google Analytics, and you could put the tracking code right here, which is no longer present on DNN 9. So here's what we have to get back. We have to get back a file that should be located and I'm going to show the file system of my test website. Here's the root folder of the DNN 9 website, I'm going to go to portals and I'm going to go to portal zero, which is a default, the only one portal that we have here on this instance. Now, this is where we should have a file called googleanalytics.config, which would save the tracking code. And I just opened up one that I brought from a DNN 8 website. So it has a setting that says tracking ID and it has the setting value, which is the tracking code that you want to track. And we have, so we have to get this file back in this folder. So the Google Analytics code can be placed automatically on all pages on your website. I'm going to paste that file here. And it has to have this exact name, googleanalytics.config, and this, of course, exact structure. I'm going to provide all of that in the video notes. Once that is done, you can very easily go back to the site, right click, view source. You're going to see, if I scroll up, you're going to see the code right here. You see, with the ID that I have specified. By the way, this ID is just an example that I'm giving here. Now, the next part of what I would like to show is 
But Ederson, if you say, what if the Google Analytics that is showing up here on my site is an old version of Google Analytics and I want to put a more up-to-date, a more modern code that is provided by Google already? And you can do that because we can manipulate this script that is right here and I'm going to show you next. So to manipulate this, I'm going to show once again the file structure of my website. I'm going to go to the very root of the site and I'm going to find a file called site analytics. I'm going to open that on a text editor. Perfect. So here is that file open and I need to manipulate this little piece of script that is right here. I'm going to get a fresh new Google Analytics code, which is called Google Universal Analytics. This is the new snippet that I'll be using from now on. I'm going to copy this. I'm going to go back to my script just for the sake of example. I'm going to edit right here. I will get rid of this. But before I get rid of this, I have to pay attention to one thing right here where the track ID will be replaced by the correct ID. I have to get this token. I have to copy this token and I have to see on the new script where is that I need to replace the token there. So I'm going to just replace right here, which has the ID of my site, but I want it to be generic. So I want it to be, you know, to have the token so it gets automatically replaced. I'm going up and I will be deleting the old code. I'm just going to give a little bit of indentation here to have this a little bit to show this a little bit better. I'm going to save this and I'm going to go back to the site, the source of the site. I'm going to refresh this. And when I refresh, I now have the new code for Google Analytics. So this is it. This is how one you get Google Analytics back on your DNS 9 website. And two, this is how you can update the JavaScript for the Google Analytics code. That's it. Thanks. Bye. If you like this DNN tip of the week and don't want to miss out anyone, subscribe.